Uh, yes, I know, Quirrell. I hear everything that you hear. I know, but isn't it exciting? <laughs> I mean, we got them to draw Harry Potter's name, and soon he will be ours. Yes, yes, it's actually happening, isn't it? I mean, with all this success going about, I think we should celebrate. I hear it's karaoke night down at the horse, or horse head. <laughs> I've been so focused on our evil plan. Oh, come on, Quirrell. You deserve a night out. I mean, but the, the papers. Oh, give them all B minuses and be done. That's <laughs> evil. Well, I am a dark lord. <laughs> <laughs> come on, we'll try to pick up some chains. <laughs> oh, gosh, I wouldn't know how to do that. <laughs> come on, Romeo. It'll be fine. You just move your lips and I'll do all the talk. Uh, I, I don't know. Quirrell. <laughs> Man, listen, I may just be a parasite on the back of your head, sucking your soul every time you breathe. Well, I know you're too good of a man to not have a little fun in a little while. Come on, come on, what do you say? Oh, all right, yeah, you're right, let's go wild. Ah! <laughs> well, girl. Put on some fresh pair of wizard shorts and grab your tunic. Tonight, we are going to have some fun. <laughs> you know, I distinctly remember this club being a lot bigger. <laughs> Barbaron? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you break this? All right, well, uh, I saw them going into the auditorium, so they should be around here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So Someone's coming. What? Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you guys just hear something? No. Maybe one raindrop. No matter. Tell me, Goyle. Who do you think is the ugliest girl in school? Uh, Buckbeak for sure. Good one, Goyle. <laughs> Crap. Winky the house out. Good one. Obscure. <laughs> <laughs> do you know who I think is the most ugliest girl in school? Yeah. That Hermione Granger. What? You know, on a scale from one to ten, one being ugliest and ten being I would give her an eight. No, no, no. An 8.5. Okay, okay, okay. Not over a 9.8. Because there's always room for improvement. And not everybody's perfect like us. We're holding up a ten. Because we're worth it. Well, come on, let's go watch the breeze making eight with well, what a bunch of jerks. Ignore them. Where did you say you saw those crates? Uh, yeah, no, they're in the auditorium, so they should be around here somewhere. Yeah, and 
had this much fun since. Man, I don't think I've ever had this much fun. <laughs> you have never had this much fun? Maybe that's why you're so cool. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it could be because muggles and mudbloods make me sick to my stomach. But you may be right. I don't know. It's funny. What? What is it? It's just I've never really considered another reason why I'm sweet. It's just like whenever someone tries to get me to open up, I kill them. It's like, oops. <laughs> but this, this is nice. It's nice to talk like this. Yeah. Yeah, you know, um, I have to admit, I was kind of nervous when you demanded that you attach yourself to my soul. Yeah, I bet. I could sense it. <laughs> but I guess now it's kind of cool. It's like, like having a really close roommate. Yeah, like a slave. A nephew. <laughs>
Cerberus Snake will be passing you a cardboard cutout size version of the dragon you will be facing. For you, said your chef, Jake Long, the American dragon. <laughs> <laughs> For you, Cho Chang, Zack and Wheezy, the two heady. <laughs> For you, Draco Malfoy, Mushu, the Chinese. <laughs> Who else screamed next to me? 